first off, we have you know general purpose AI tools like ChatGPT, Bard, Claude. Now, all of these are mostly free. They have paid versions, but they are also free. Easy access, extremely versatile. You want to check text, generate images, code, audio, extremely powerful. But it's really important to understand the context. Now, what happens with these general purpose tools? Now, they tend to hallucinate. So if you look at the screenshot, um, this is an example of how ChatGPT can either make up references or quote incorrect references simply because it just predicts text. Now, this might be great if you're writing a fictional book or some fictional content, creative writing, but it doesn't work for scholarly content where accuracy is important. The second aspect is a lot of these general purpose tools rely on the input you give it, what we call prompts. So single line prompts like these are likely to get you a really poor output. So you need to have uh, a steep learning curve, some prompt expertise to really get the best out of the tool. The next aspect is a lot of the general purpose tools are general in nature. You do have GPT agents now that can be fine tuned, but again, it still requires that expertise, but they have a large training set. So if you're working in a very specific field like environmental science and you expect the tool to understand context of certain terms, it's not gonna happen. And of course, the last thing is around data security. Uh, these models also rely on the data it receives to kind of train the models. And in academia, this is a strict no-no. So that's something you need to be really mindful of, depending on what content you're inserting into these tools. So enter specialized AI tools like PaperPal. Now, what these specialized tools and PaperPal does is it takes broad-based LLM technology and infuses it with specialized training for academic use. Now, let me give you an example. Now, while PaperPal has been around for about a year, um, as a company, we've been around for 20 years and we've been supporting authors with human editing services to help them get published. Now, all of that experience has been sort of mechanized into PaperPal, where we've tried to mimic how human editors edit papers. Similarly, um, compared to a strong, uh, you know, a large prompt uh, of paragraph long that can go into chat GPT and give you an output, in PaperPal, you simply have an objective form where you need to either enter or select information and then the prompts are fine-tuned at the back end. They take this information and they will give you the output you need, whether you're writing an outline, a section, a cover letter, or an email. And last, of course, is tools like PaperPal, because we're mindful of the use and the industry and the domain, we don't use data to train our models. So which means whatever data you input is used and you have control over it. So this is really important when choosing. Now, the last point that I'd like to cover before I end is around you know, the ethical aspect around using AI. Now, it's really important to be transparent, to be honest, and to acknowledge AI usage. I know there's a lot of fear around AI detection, but we'll cover that as well later. But when it comes to acknowledging AI usage, we encourage the audience to basically look at what it is you're writing, what guidelines apply, whether it's the journal, whether it's the university, uh, look for information around what they have suggested, and then incorporate that into your work. Mm -hmm.